hesitate. You keep hesitating. There are some questions you must answer without hesitation. Listen to Revelation. <laughs> Thank you. Revelation 22 verse 3. And there shall be no more curse. Describing a new world. What is the curse? Death. What's the reason for death? Sin. If there's no more curse, there's no more sin. Are you with me? No more curse. No more death. No more sin. No more. Ah, uh, what's your name? <laughs> Brother James. You're the star people of this class. We must get you a plaque. Where there is no sin, according to the Jew version of Brother James, there is no need for sacrifice. And so when Jesus comes, sacrifice will end. Now listen to the Bible. Till heaven and earth pass, one job or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Now, the history of sacrifice is from Adam's sin to the coming of Christ. Are you with me? Two precise points. The history of obedience we cannot even measure. Obedience then is such a desirable thing in God's eyes that He has preserved it from eternity past to eternity in the future. Sacrifice was merely something made necessary by an emergency. Now, here's where I'll cause you a concussion. <laughs> Listen again. But you need to exercise your brain regarding God's word. Listen to me again. Let me pray before I continue this part. Father in heaven, as I say what I have to say, give me simple language, give us understanding, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Finish it with me now. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Now, question for you. All sacrifices pointing ultimately to one thing. What's that? Jesus Christ. Follow me closely. All sacrifices pointed to Christ's ultimate sacrifice. Listen to the form of Christ. To obey is better than sacrifice. Better than which sacrifice? How many sacrifices? All sacrifices, including the sacrifice of Christ. Because the sacrifice of Christ only became necessary. Why? Because of sin. And if they had never been saved, there would have been no need for him to die. But they would still have been a need for obedience. Do you begin even marginally to understand why I push obedience? Because obedience is connected to Jesus. Christ suffered. He bled through his skin. They punched him in the face. He carried the sins of the world. His father turned his back on him for one reason. What was that? Sin. Give me another word for sin, the longer version. Disobedience. Now, love of Christ will lead me to obey. If Adam had obeyed, Christ would never have suffered the indignity of Calvary. And so the Father Jesus says, I prefer obedience over any and all sacrifices. The next time you or I are tempted to sin to disobedience, let your mind go back to Calvary. It is because of what I'm about to do that that had to happen. It is because of Disobedience. People die. There's AIDS. Families break up. Churches split. One nation bombs another nation. Civil war takes place. Genocide occurs because of disobedience. And God says to you and to me, I prefer obedience. Over any sacrifice, 
including the sacrifice of Christ. Because every sacrifice pointed to him. If you understood what I just said, you surely would have a different view of obedience as God is. Nothing is more important to God in the context of this relationship with this created being than obedience. In Mark chapter 4, you don't have to go there, you know the story. There's a storm on the lake. And they woke Jesus and said, Master, hear us out not that we perish. And he arose or woke and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. That's Mark 4, and in verse 39. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that he had no faith? The last verse of Mark chapter 4 tells us, And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea that is the verse. Oh. Which means nature does what God can get us to do. Animals obey God. The wind obeys God. The stars and their courses obey God. Because everything is preserved by the word of God. Are you with me? Upholding all things by the word of his power. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. All of nature obeys God. The only aspect or area of nature that disobeys God is that part made in his image. And who is that? That's us. That's why I gave you five to six. I don't need to preach anymore. Let's say it's 1 Samuel 15, 22 together. We'll say 23 as well. When you found it, let me know by saying amen. And I want you to read with me a choir of Bible reading. Amen. Of course, if you have a key to your verse, we don't want confusion. <laughs> Are you ready? Read with me what the Bible say. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey, say that word nice and loud, is better than sacrifice. And to hearken, which is to obey, than the fat of rams. Verse 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubborn and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. Finish that verse. Because thou hast what? Rejected the word of the Lord. Give me another word for rejecting. Disobey. Finish the verse. He have also rejected the vision from being a. Let me tell you something. Disobedience to God's word is rejection of God. It may not be a rejection of church. It's rejection of God. And persistent disobedience lead to total rejection of God. The Bible says rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Why? Because witchcraft is cooperation with the devil. When you disobey God, you've cooperated with the devil. It is witchcraft. Disobedience is witchcraft. So when you say, I don't go to the witch stuff, you don't have to go, you are one. Are you with me? And <laughs> what? By what? The practice of disobedience. Let's make a decision right now. Before we do, may I ask you some question? Was the word clear? Yes or no? Yes. What does God prefer? Yes. Over what? Sacrifice. Which sacrifice? The any and all sacrifice. Because before sin, there was no such thing as sacrifice. Before sin, was there a creator? Yes. yes. Is there a creator now? Will they be greater after sin? Yes. That is the primary function of Christ, creator. Before sin, was there a savior? No. Is there a savior now? Yes. Will there be a savior after sin? No. Obedience is better than sacrifice. My beloved brothers and sisters of my Olive and all visitors and guests and friends and well wishes and supporters, obey God. Obey God, if not for yourself, for your children. 
I want it recorded in the books of heaven on the 3rd of May, 2014. He did five and six. I preached my heart out, appealing to God's people to do one thing. Tell me what that is. Okay. Okay. Which day is the Sabbath? Why are you mumbling? <laughs> Which day is the Sabbath? Keep it. 